always dreamed of flying in the sky, just as birds do. No one is surprised at a flight and board a plane now. But, for the first time, people raced in the air on a flying apparatus of a totally different design. The first man piloted air ballooning took place on the 21st of November, 1783. French aeronauts Pilette de Rosier and Marquise Darland raced at the height of one kilometre and flew eight kilometres for 25 minutes on the apparatus designed by Montgolfier brothers. The balloon enclosure was filled up with hot air at the temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius. Now let's assemble a small Montgolfier of our own and for its enclosure let's use a garbage sack of 60 litres in volume. In a shop we chose the lightest sack whose mass is 4.7 grams. The air inside the sack will be heated with burning candles. We took two cake candles, cut them into six equal parts and placed them on a ground of aluminum foil. This base was attached to the crossing of two straws. The total weight of the crossing and the candles is 2.5 grams. So, the whole assembled construction weighs about 7 grams. Let's attach the sack to the crossing using scotch pieces. There are 60 litres of the air inside the blown up sack. Each litre weighs about 1.2 grams. So, the total weight of the air inside the sack is about 70 grams. To make the Montgolfier fly up, the weight of, of the air inside of it should be decreased at the weight of the enclosure, candles and the crossing. That is at 7 grams. When the candles are heated inside the enclosure, the air will expand and certain part of it will go out. So, the Montgolfier will make lighter. Well, time to fly. Jacques Alexander Charles made a flight on the aerostat of his own design in 10 days after the Montgolfier flight. With his companion Robin, he flew 36 kilometers for two hours at the height of 400 meters. Right after the landing, Charles raised in the air one more time, the height being 3 kilometers. But Charles' apparatus was different from that of Montgolfier in the thing that it was filled up and not with hot air, but hydrogen. Hydrogen is the lightest gas, but it's flammable. Therefore, in our days, air balloons and meteorological probes are filled with helium. Now let's calculate the lifting power of this air balloon. The volume of a sphere is approximately equal to one half of its cube diameter value. The diameter of this balloon is about 25 centimeters and its volume is about 8 litres. One litre of air weighs 1.2 grams. One litre of helium, 0.2 grams. If air is substituted with helium, then each litre will make one gram lighter and the lifting power of 8 litres will be equal to 8 grams. One should subtract the weight of enclosure from this power. It's equal to 4 grams. Therefore, the balloon's lifting power is 4 grams. Let's check our calculations having attached our balloon to the scales. The indication is really 4 grams. And now, suspend this 4 gram load onto the balloon. It is slowly going upwards. Its lifting power is bigger than the load at just not a big value. 